we figured out what depth these fish want. They want 95 to 100 feet. And so we're just idling around this structure. We're out in the middle of nowhere and we're looking for marks on the bottom. So like for instance, here's, here's a trout right there on the bottom. What I'm looking for hopefully are a few marks right on the bottom. And that would indicate, you know, a small school like we're coming into right now. One of the really key things for me, at least on this boat, is I've got a graph on my trolling motor and I've got a graph back here and they're separated by 20 feet. And what that allows me to do is as I'm moving around on this underwater structure, if I'm starting to mark something in the front, I'll anticipate being able to mark it in the back. And then that'll tell me, hey, maybe there's a school there, I need to stop and fish that. So that front graph is really critical to tell me what's coming up so that I can try and position the boat perfectly in between what I'm marking. Here's a school up front on the graph, so I'm gonna stop. And then I'm gonna hit spot lock on my iPilot. And we're gonna fish them. What I like about doing this with a bait caster is I can control all of my line with one hand. If I need to let up more line, my thumb is right here for the spool. And then I can engage the reel with my ring finger right on the star drag there and the reel handle. There's one down there, he just swirled again, and he just ate it. <laughs> oh my gosh. These lake trout are awesome. When you vertical jig them like this, just an incredible, incredible bite. They pull really hard, they fight, they thrash. You know, they go on some really nice runs. I'm only using a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader on this braid. So I wanna make sure that I've got a good enough drag that I can set the hook, but that if he wants to go on a nice run, he can. And right here again, he, he blew out his air bladder. So I know that he's gonna be able to be released healthy. Another really quality Northern Michigan lake trout out of Grand Traverse Bay. There he is, head shaking. He's going bananas. This one's probably about seven or eight pounds. <laughs> oh boy. And so beautiful in this water. Unbelievably beautiful. Grab the line. A lot of times the jig, because they're shaking their head, a lot of times when you hold the line, that line doesn't go as much. And so when they shake their heads, they're able to release themselves. So I don't even have to handle it, which is nice. For more information, or if you're looking for a captain or guide in the state of Michigan, please give Sportfish Michigan a call or check us out on the web sportfishmichigan.com.